What's up guys? I'm gonna do a taste test today. Um, I had this before, so it's a little bit cheating, but I'm gonna be eating this Fit Crunch by uh, Robert Irvin. Uh, I usually eat the bodybuilding.com protein bars, which I'm gonna link below, but I'm gonna try this one today. Uh, let's see the macros on this one. I gotta stop saying uh, honestly, right? But my screen popped up because I, I was low on battery, but I'm gonna try this one. Calories on this one is pretty, pretty bad, honestly. 300 calories for just uh, this protein bar. It's probably regular size. Here's a Sharpie for reference. Um, 16 grams of fat, uh, 27 grams of carbohydrate, and 30 grams of protein, which is pretty decent. Usually a protein bar has around like 25 grams to, or 20 grams to 25 grams of protein. This one is a little bit higher than the rest. But it's also higher in fat, um, decent in carbohydrate. Sugar-wise, six grams of sugar. Sugar alcohol is 16 grams. On here it says, "My goal is simple. I want to empower people and food through uh, empower people through food and fitness to thrive each day." And that's Chef Rob Irvine. And you probably know him from uh, what's that show called? Is it Iron Chef? I don't know, but he's he's on the Food Network channel. At least that's how I know I know of him. And when I found out that he made protein bars, I got pretty excited for some odd reason. Uh, ingredients on here, man, there's a ton of shit on here. Protein blend, so there's whey protein, whey protein concentrate, isolate, soy protein, there's palm oil, vegetable, uh, glycosin, glycosin uh, sugar, vegetable oil, palm, and palm kernel. Uh, some of these words I can't even pronounce. Corn syrup, water, corn starch, brown rice flour, malodoxin, sunflower oil. It's just a whole list of shit on here. Um, but it does contain milk, soy, peanuts. So if you guys are lactose intolerant and it really upset your stomach, probably avoid this. Uh, if you are allergic to any kind of nuts, just know that there's peanuts and al almonds in this one. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty good. It's gluten free. It has that going for it. But let's try it out. I'm gonna be opening this up. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Kind of like a. If I were to describe it, like a, if a unicorn took a big shit, that's what it looks like. I mean. It looks pretty appetizing in my opinion, but here is the Sharpie again for reference. It's pretty much the same length as the Sharpie. Um, probably like three Sharpies. I don't know. Just like a protein bar. Pretty good. It breaks. Yes, I just ate that from the floor. 30 grams of protein, I gotta get it all in. Crunchy. From the topping. You get the strawberry flavor, but I think this is birthday cake, so it's sticking to my tea, which I don't mind because it's stuck there, and then like throughout the day, it comes unstuck, and like, oh, got a little treat, you know? I'll give it like 7 out of 10. Maybe a little less, like 6.8 out of 10. 6.8 Sharpies out of 10 Sharpies. That's what I'm giving this one. Uh, I bought this one in the store and it cost me two bucks. For $2, the amount of protein you get, I think it's worth it. Taste wise, decent, edible. I mean, it's not like a chocolate bar, so but it's still pretty good. Um, 
visually it looks okay I guess texture in the middle is kind of like a, like a doughy cakey flavor or te cakey f um, texture uh, it breaks easily and it causes a mess oh or it makes a mess but it's not as bad as like a nature valley bar where like you take one bite and the whole thing crumbles it's still intact but it's all over the place now yep so this is it hard to eat 380 calories it makes for a good snack like or in between meal snack if you ever had this before comment below um and tell me what you guys think but i'm giving this 6.8 sharpies out of 10 sharpies see you guys in the next episode if you like this episode um like the comment or not like the comment, like the video, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and uh, look forward to more. See you guys.